Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So welcome to another episode of the new account series. So I'm gonna show you guys my progress so far. Total in-game time at a bit more than 111 hours. Uh, and then now my research looks like this. Loot frequency level 58 and now my loot rarity is level 10. After exchanging some comments with some fellow players and doing some tasks myself, uh, I've seen that uh, getting loot rarity up to level 10 is pretty cheap, like it's only 4,500 tickets. Um, and actually this allows me to get like almost no more common loot. So all the loot becomes rarer or higher and of course that's better, right? Because in that way I get more items and I can sell the maps for more prestige tickets and I can sell the maps more often and so uh, it's gonna speed up my, my progress. Uh, I'm gonna just get in level 10 though, uh, even though some players um, say that like if you upgrade loot rarity up to level 60 it should be better, but I think that just level 10 should be enough and I'm gonna just focus here on loot frequency, right? Because this is the most important one. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so let's see how that's gonna go. My beat disrupt rate is level 50. Uh, and now lately I've been just, uh, you know, um, not really getting any general stats other than the ones to maximize how many resources I can mine. And uh, because of the fact that you reach a certain point in the game, even like when you are a further ahead, where yes, you get a ton of beat this, but you don't really get a lot of inferior because your strategy is playing for very short amount of time, de destroying enemies, so maximizing loot, and that you don't really get that many resources. And so you end up like struggling in getting enough infure, especially. And uh, in Door 4, uh, I started you know, needing to do 6.3 to gain resources. No, so not to gain loot, but to gain resources. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you in this uh, episode of this series. So my abilities here, max energy, and then just one more level. So I generate abilities like every nine seconds less, right? Uh, then my scalar mining speed, vector mining speed, matrix, a little bit higher, you know, they were level 20, now level 30 or a little bit higher. My infer, of course, is already maxed. Modifier, level 50. Everything of overload is maxed. And also blizzard is maxed, the duration. Uh, and uh, because of course you want to go for overload and blizzard combo to maximize the resources you, you get. And of course, uh, on combo with that, uh, upgrading a bit more Gauss, especially because of Gauss ultimate, that is going to double time of your miners, so you can get double amount of resources pretty much. And it's very useful, but of course you, like I had to upgrade my Gauss a bit more to make it a bit more relevant to be able to don't cost so much, right? To be a little bit cheaper, to level up faster. So yeah, that's what I got this additional upgrade here, level 20, uh, but not, nothing too terrible. And that's it. I'm gonna go straight away into the gameplay. Uh, remember, you just need Overload and a Blizzard. If you don't have as much research as I have, um, I don't think you're gonna ever need to do this. So like until you reach that point when you start having more bids than Infer, I don't think you ever need to farm 6.3 for resources. This is only when you reach that point where you end up like having enough bidders but not enough infer. All right. And uh, now here the strategy, of course, is going to be completely different because here you don't you're not going for loot, but you're going for resources. And so, for example, here I'm gonna place as many things as I can, leaving the two miners at the beginning. I'm gonna leave them. You know, you're gonna start destroying enemies right away. And uh, uh, yeah. I've already covered this strategy or like very similar to it on my um, on my main account, of course, with a lot more research there. So this is going to be like an adaptation from that uh, from that strategy. Now, the first thing that you're going to do, though, I, I messed up here, is that you want to decrease the difficulty of endless because, of course, like my offensive uh, power is not so great. And so the first thing is you're going to decrease difficulty here. To the lowest like 150 you can go a little bit higher if you want to but in my opinion like going for the lowest is just the the easiest way to approach it so uh yeah that's what to that's why here i i messed up before and again here freezing splash right here modifiers and then to infer i have enough coins to afford all that so why not then you go with crusher of course you're gonna have to deal with the regular enemies so crusher in my opinion is just the easiest way to to do it 
uh, getting an additional modifier there and, a, and another one right here. All right. After you get the first ability for these splashes, you don't want to get the second one. All right. Just leave it at that. I'm going to get another crusher here. I'm going to get one more vector matrix, one more extra modifier. Here we go. Uh, going for the um, uh, coins per minute. Yeah. And now I'm gonna start upgrading these bottom infer miners a little bit higher, the like global three. So here we go, going for minus installation time. After you get this upgrade, you can get two additional infers up here. All right. And uh, yeah, now just going for this minus here, level three. both of them and uh, next I'm gonna just get the this vector in this matrix also upgraded level 2 both there we go and now just uh, focusing on this left minor so this bottom left one upgrading up to level uh, 6 7 should be should be good enough and uh, of course after you know when you see some enemies being able to push forward see here these enemies being able to push a bit forward more and more forward that's when you want to upgrade you know, your your towers even more. You can place another crusher here at the very end. Um, and you upgrade this top right splash. Right, You don't upgrade the bottom ones, you upgrade the top right one. And you go for this additional mining speed. And now after you get this upgrade, all right, after you go for this additional mining speed, you want to then sell this uh, modifier. You want to place Gauss. And you want to aim with Gauss to the enemies coming out of this uh, miner here. And uh, in that way, you can you know, hit those enemies. You can uh, give experience, of course, to Gauss so that you can level up. And I'm gonna actually get it as well, level eight. Unfortunately, it's gonna level up quite slowly because uh, yeah, the speed, even if it's gonna be quite high, but uh, but yeah, my Gauss, like my research is not really that high. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit limited to that. So I'm gonna also get a level nine. Right, upgrading this bottom right minor, I think level seven or eight actually should be should be enough. And remember, you need Gauss Ultimate, so that's your full whole focus, getting your Gauss up to level twenty. So, uh, yeah, just aim aim for that, and get this minor upgraded as much as is needed so that this Gauss levels up. All right, enemy speed, why not level nine here? Uh, and yeah, here we go. So that should be the ultimate. Get it as fast as you can. All right, now I'm gonna just get this tower a bit more upgraded, right? To do a little bit more damage. And let's upgrade as well this right inferior. Um, and now what you're gonna do here is, if you see too many enemies, right? Just remember to upgrade your offensive towers, especially this splash here, uh, going for also the attack speed. And uh, now look here, check at the double time. When this timer here reaches uh, 25 minutes, right? Here we go, that's enough. So you wanna sell Gauss, you wanna replace, you're gonna place again a modifier, and now you're gonna place a Gauss on the opposite side, and you're gonna do the same. You're gonna aim to this miner here, um, and uh, yeah, you're gonna upgrade this Gauss up to level nine to max the amount of damage you can do, right? So that is going to level up faster. The boss is getting closer, but it shouldn't be that close. So I'm going to just level up here these towers a bit more. And that's the ultimate, right? That should be the ultimate. Here we go. And again, look, check out the timer. When it goes past the 25 minutes, see it's already 30 minutes, you can sell it. So it's very close to the timing which the boss approaches that uh, platform but it should be it should be fast enough so i'm gonna just upgrade these towers now and now just maxing this bottom right uh, infer as well and at this stage you want to just max this splash as well you want to max your crushers max your freezings and yeah max everything you can also get this right splash level two 
uh, upgradable too. Uh, and yeah, that should be it. I'm going to as well here uh, increase the speed of these two miners by just placing a Gauss as well there. Uh, level 9 as well. Aiming towards this side, right? When the, there are the highest amount of enemies, that's when you want to aim your Gauss. So in that way, you're just maximizing the uh, the coins that you gain and also the the double time you're giving. And I think that should be it. Like you can also place another Gauss up there, but in this case, I need Splash. My offensive towers, like my offensive power is not that great. So yeah, I think it's just better. Uh, and you, and at this stage, you just wait. You don't wanna like increase your miners any further. You don't gonna upgrade your towers any further. You're just gonna leave it stand like this. You don't wanna as well get the ultimate from this splash. You wanna wait until your energy bar is almost level 30, and then uh, that's when you wanna like upgrade all your splashes. You're gonna get the ultimate, and then you have to destroy the boss. So you have to kill it. That's the that's the overall strategy. So uh, yeah, your crashes as well can help you to generate a little bit more coins. But as I said before, like if you have a little bit more than six hundred thousand, that should be enough, like to place all the miners and to maximally upgrade them. So yeah, no need to uh, like to gain uh, too many coins. And of course, it depends on your research, like how much you can upgrade your uh, your miners, right? If you can get them just level five, then you're gonna be limited. If you can get them a little bit higher, it's better. But as I said before, like um, if you do this strategy too early, it's uh, like I don't think it's uh, beneficial for you because uh, you just need to start doing this only when your um, when your bid you know, start being starts being higher than the amount of infer you have. So when you start struggling getting infer, that's when you have to start using this strategy. Like before then, I don't think it's even worth it. And look at the timer here. See the energy. Just one more to reach 30, that's the maximum. So I'm gonna wait here until, um, yeah, 10 seconds to 30. So right uh, now, see, I'm gonna get this miner upgrade to level five. I'm gonna get a modifier. The boss should be around here. So yeah, it's in this area, see? So when I start spawning regulars, yeah, here we go. That's when I'm gonna just pause the game now. And this is when you pull the trigger. So you upgrade all your splashes level 10, you get the second ability, you get the ultimate especially, and now here you go very slowly. And now when you kill the boss, see that's the boss, when you kill it, that's when you wanna pause. Alright, remember, kill it, then you can also destroy with splash these last few enemies, like light enemies here. Uh, this one, here we go. So you should have some regulars up here that have been spawned by this miner. And just regulars should be able to survive. And here is where you use 15 overloads in a row. So all the overloads that you have in a row. You go for one blizzard. You sell all your splashes. You get money uh, modifiers there. And you start upgrading all your miners level 10. You also sell crusher. You can replace them by just getting them level 4 if you want to. Uh, keep the freezings though. And uh, um, yeah, just place as many of these miners as you can. Here we go. Level 10. Level 10. Level 10. And level 10. Right, so all the miners here are maximally upgraded. And now it's just a race against time. So you want to use uh, Blizzard as soon as the previous one expires. Remember, with the 15 overloads, like enemies have a ton of HP. They have so much HP that no tower uh, can in any way like damage them uh, enough. So uh, yeah, this stage is just you know, waiting. And the only thing that's preventing you from losing, it's a blizzard. So I'm going here not a full speed, I'm going just with a double speed. So in that way I can react fast enough and I can place like I can use Blizzard as soon as the previous one expires. And you can see here the timer, it's uh, quite long. Um, and yeah, you just wait here. 
can see my miners have maximum like mining speed so they're able to uh to mine a lot of resources and again that's why this strategy is so good to mine resources your score also should be going up very very quickly and yeah that's pretty much it so that's what you do and that's how like I have adapted right this strategy to the amount of research I have so I have reduced the endless difficulty just to 150% that's not gonna in any way uh, diminish the amount of resources you gain so that's why uh, like endless difficulty doesn't affect the amount of resources you mine of course the overall score might not be as high as it could be but uh, again here this is not to gain to get a very high uh, score it's just to mine resources and uh, yeah and just keep doing this keep steady you should have as i said before if you have placed this miner you know earlier on and you have some regulars here you should have those regulars pretty far back see here so they still need to do all the all the way around until they reach your base uh, and yeah that should allow me to uh, keep on using blizzard here you can see that like i cannot use it right away so enemies are still able to push a little bit forward and then i'm able to use it uh, but yeah it doesn't really matter all right just 100 more seconds left and in the same time as you are using blizzard you can see that you're still generating some uh, energy so of course um, you can keep on using blizzard for the very simple reason that you still are generating points with your energy bar all right um, so we have one more here nice and let's see if I can uh, I can generate enough energy here to use uh, a final one. Just 40 seconds here left. Uh, 12 10 seconds here. Oh no. Uh, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I was able because there is an enemy right there. Ooh, that uh, that crusher there saved me. Otherwise, like I would have just ended the gameplay right away. So yeah, here we go. So that's it. As soon as the timer runs out, you should be able to destroy all the remaining enemies. Uh, and yeah, this is very good because you can see with double gain, of course, you can get up to almost 3 million Infier in one run. Uh, 1.3 million Tensor, 1.5 million Matrix, 1.6 million Vector, and uh, um, 1.2 million uh, Scholar. So yeah, this is a strategy, remember, not for loot, but for resources. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, because uh, I think that at this stage, you know, you have to start considering also doing these kind of things to be able to get enough resources as well, other than getting bidders and loot. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see ya. Bye bye.